So then th- this seems to be a newer topic, at least newer to me, is this idea of A1 versus A2 milk. Yes. So we, we were doing a little bit of, of research on it, but just give me a little bit of background on what these two letters and, and number combinations mean. Yeah. So honestly, this was something I had to do a lot of research on uh, a few months ago because I kept seeing different types of A2 milk pop up. And I was like, what is this A2 milk? And what? how is this different from regular milk? And what I learned that was, and what I learned was that thousands of years ago, five to 10,000 years ago, there was this genetic mutation that happened in cattle. So um, it, it used to be where most cows produced A2 milk. And A2 is just, uh, it's the type of protein that's found in milk. So most cows were A2 milk, but thousands of years ago, there was this genetic mutation. No one really knows exactly what happened, but there was this switch from A2 milk to A1 A1 and A2 milk. So your average milk now contains A1 beta casein protein and A2 beta casein protein, where it used to be just A2. Okay. So that's kind of how it happened. Most milks at the grocery store, if it doesn't specifically say A2, it's A1 and A2. It has it has both of them in there. Yeah, it's it's like this A1 slash A2. Exactly. The the common one. Okay. Yes. So the the general baseline assumption is it's a1 okay. unless it says a2 it's a1 okay that's just that's a fact okay is that because it's just more common why are there yeah. more a1s yes I, i'd say it's more common so the, the a2 milk comes from an entirely different type of cow okay and i know jersey cow is one of the cows that only produces this a2 milk there's a few other breeds yeah um that produce the a2 milk correct okay and, and then what's the difference between these two yeah So like I said, it's the type of protein found in the milk. Mm -hmm. The problem with A1 milk is that there, and and there's been multiple studies on this, but the A1 beta casein found in your average cow's milk appears to be more inflammatory to the Mm -hmm. gut Mm -hmm. when compared to A2 beta casein. Okay. And just to note, uh, breast milk, human milk, it, it is A2 beta casein it doesn't contain any of this a1 okay so that might be one of the reasons why this a1 protein is more inflammatory Mm. because our bodies our bodies don't know what it is it's almost like a foreign protein yeah we're not built to digest it exactly okay so and that brings me to uh other types of milk like goat's milk sheep's milk buffalo milk can't say i've ever had that no camel milk that's another one no i've not heard that one yeah camel milk i don't think I want to try that. Um, <laughs> but all those types of milk are only a, they only, those, those animals only produce A2 milk. Huh. So it's really the, the cows that are most commonly producing this A1 protein. Yeah. As far as I know, they're yeah. the only animal, I guess, that does produce this yeah. A1 protein. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So A1 is common, but not the best for us. Yes. So we're looking for A2 because it's, it's easier for our bodies to digest. Easier to digest, exactly. Okay. Yes. Does this have anything to do with lactose intolerance, people? So it's funny you ask that. Uh-huh. So about nine months ago, I went to something called Expo East, okay, which was basically this, it's this food conference in um, Philadelphia. And I was talking to a bunch of different brand, all these healthy brands are there. And I was talking to a bunch of different ones there. And Alexander Farms, uh-huh. uh, which we were talking about off camera um, before the podcast started, I was talking to them and they were telling me that most people that are lactose intolerant that think they're lactose intolerant mm. are actually just sensitive to this A1 protein wow. found in cow's milk. Uh-huh. And I forget the exact percentage. I'm going to I'm going to guess here, but I think it's like eight, could it be 80% of people are lactose intolerant? It's 70 funny to say that. It's one of our trivia questions. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so don't give it so away. So we'll, te- we'll tease don't give it, it away. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to guess I was going to guess say now. 75 Five percent of people okay. in the U.S. Okay, not the world. The yep. U.S. are lactose intolerant. Again, we'll get back to the correct answer at yep. the end of the podcast. <laughs> so make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah. Uh, but she, uh, the woman that I was talking to at Alexander Farms, she told me that it's more of like ten to fifteen percent, mm. or even maybe even lower. I want to say it was actually single digits. Yeah, that are actually lactose intolerant. They're just intolerant to a one. A one. Wow. A1 beta casein. And most people have no idea, I'm sure. Yeah. And that's why, and that brings, a lot of people 
that think they're that think they're lactose intolerant, they do fine with goat's milk, sheep's milk, or other types of milk because it's A2 protein. Yep. But those other types of milk, they still contain lactose. Yeah. They do contain, I think it's about 25% less lactose yep. than cow's milk, but they still contain lactose. Yeah. So why are people digesting that fine, but they can't do cow's milk? Yep. My my answer to that question is I think it's because the A1 protein. Yeah, exactly. And A2 is, is probably harder to, to find. It's a lot more limited. Yes. Okay. And yeah, I'd and I'd say part of the reason for that is it's more expensive to produce as yeah. well. Yep. So there's just less farmers doing that. Yep. It sounds like there's less cow breeds that produce this A2 milk. Yes. Okay. Yes, definitely. Okay. Wow. So A2, if you're lactose intolerant and you have not tried A2 yeah. milk, try it and let us know. Safe. Yeah. Yeah. In small amounts. Very small amounts. Try it safely. Do not hurt yourself. Yeah. But- I, I did post uh, an Instagram reel about this months ago, mm -hmm. explaining kind of what we just talked about and how most people that think they're lactose intolerant aren't really lactose intolerant. And I had hundreds of people messaging me saying, oh my gosh, I can consume milk again. Wow. I, had, I tried A2 and, I, and I'm digesting it fine. Yep. No so, issues. I think that's it. That's crazy. Yeah. Like a little miracle. 